Hey golfers, in this next video I'm going to show you how to make a great golf downswing. Stay tuned. Hey, it's Troy from HittingItSolid.com here. Thanks for watching. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the golf downswing and without a doubt, the most challenging part of the golf swing for most golfers. So the downswing makes up three key parts and that is pressure shift or weight shift, your rotation and shallowing the golf club. And I'm going to cover all three of these. And right at the end, I'm going to show you a really simple drill you can practice anywhere to really embed a great downswing into your game. Let's get started. Okay, let's get into this golf downswing. So the first part of making a great downswing is that pressure shift or weight shift. Now, in any great downswing, it always starts with the legs first, then the upper body and the arms last. That's what all the great players do and it's something that you ideally need to get into your golf game. So when we talk about pressure shift, although I prefer the terminology pressure shift instead of weight shift because I feel like it's more of a push into the ground, more of a pressure shift. So what I would like to see you do as you get to the top of the backswing, when you start this downswing, is the key is also that the downswing actually starts before the end of the backswing. You look at any of the good players when they're making their backswing as they're getting to the top, before they even get to the top, they start putting pressure into that lead or left instep of their lead leg. They're already starting the downswing. It kind of gives them a, a bit of a head start, if you like. You very rarely will see any good player in a downswing get to the top, have all this weight on this side, and all of a sudden, change. They'll put about anywhere from 70, 80% of pressure into that right instep in their backswing. But before they've finished that, they're putting pressure into this left so that when they change, they've kind of got momentum on their side and they're in a great position for that downswing. So what you need to be striving to do, as we get to that top here, as you start this downswing, you want to be shifting that, that pressure from about the 70, 80% you might have on your right foot and getting the same into your left instep in your downswing here and really feel like you're pushing into the ground as you're getting into that downswing where I see a lot of golfers going wrong they leave that weight or most of it at least on that rear side so they'll get here and fall back like that and that particularly with your irons is really destructive you can get away with it to a point with your driver and your woods because they're hitting off a tee but for your irons very very difficult so really important you get that pressure shift as you start your downswing so that's the first piece rotation makes up the second part of the golf downswing that i'm going to cover here so rotation so a key once we get to the start and we start this downswing we need to be not only shifting pressure into our lead side but we need to be rotating rotating our upper body and rotating our hips as well our hips will turn more but we need to be rotating as we come through to the golf ball where i see a lot of golfers going wrong is they just don't rotate enough they'll get to the top here they might shift their pressure but they'll They'll end up fairly square to the ball like this at impact where their hips have hardly rotated and their chest is hardly rotated and relying on their upper body, sorry, their hands and arms to, to flip and sort of square the golf club like that. Instead of relying on the big muscles and rotating with the hips and the shoulders to square up the club face, and that gets you that consistency. So from this angle here, as we get to the top, as I come down, I'm starting to rotate straight away at the start of that downswing. Starting to rotate, I'm putting pressure into that lead side and I'm rotating, getting into my impact position there. Now, depending on your flexibility, everyone's a little bit different. Your hips will rotate anywhere from say 30 to 50 degrees. A lot of the really good players get up to 50 degrees, but hips will be open. Shoulders won't be as open, but they should be a little bit open at impact and then through so really important you make rotation a part of your downswing it's a key part 
Okay, the third part of making a great golf downswing is shallowing out the golf club. This is huge and another massive one where so many golfers get wrong. So what does shallowing look like? So from down the line, this is the best view to have a look at it here. What I'd like to see you do is you shift that pressure and rotate. Let's get that club to really lay down flat. This is, this is coming down steep. This is where a lot of golfers go wrong, but I'd like to see you get the club somewhere back here it should split through that right forearm for a right-hander as we come down and through to impact there. That's how all the great players do it. That's how you strike the center of the club face, getting that club to shallow. We don't want it coming down steep. Now, a great way to shallow it, something that I've covered on the channel before, is ensuring you get some external trail shoulder rotation as well as a bit of bowing in that lead wrist. So, Internal rotation with that trail shoulder would be this. We definitely don't want that because that steepens the shaft. I'd like to see you when you get to the top, get that shoulder externally rotating like that. And at the same time as you do that, we want that wrist turning this way slightly. And what that'll do, that'll square the club face and it'll shallow it, help you shallow it through to impact like that. Any other action, internal rotation or cupping of that lead wrist, get the club coming down steep. So I want you to get that trail shoulder externally rotating, getting it shallow, get through to a great impact position. That will improve your consistency, no end at all. Okay, before we get into this drill, here's another key I want to share with you about how to make a great golf downswing. Now, as you start down, whilst we're doing all those things I spoke about earlier, a huge key where a lot of golfers get wrong is they don't keep that pelvis or their hips back far enough. So if we get to the top here, as we shallow and shift pressure, you want to make sure those hips stay back. In particular, this lead hip, it really needs to get back. That helps you stay in posture and hit the ball a lot more consistent. Where a lot of golfers go wrong, as they start their downswing, they lift up, get further from the ball, they get taller, and they have to flip their wrists to make any sort of contact with the golf ball. It's so really important you keep your hips back, particularly that lead hip in the downswing. Super important. Now, speaking of the lead hip, on the downswing, that will straighten as well as you rotate. So as you, I'll show you this face onto the camera, as you come down, as you're rotating, as this hip goes back, this lead, lead leg, it should straighten. So as you're rotating, shifting pressure, you'll see that lead hip of mine straighten. That's what you want to be aiming for. Now another great key is thinking about the downswing is it works along the same lines as throwing a ball, skipping a stone across the river. You're putting pressure on your lead side, elbow first, hand last. Same way as you throw a ball, you step, elbow. That's the way all the great players work their downswing and it's something that you should incorporate into your game as well. And also in the downswing, as we get down to this position here, the elbow should get to that rear thigh first with those hands slightly lagging behind. I don't want you to get in any sort of position where you're like this. We want that elbow to the rear thigh first, hands slightly lagging behind. If you can do that, you're in a great downswing position. All right, let's get into this drill. All right, here's my favorite grip for making a great golf downswing. So you can do this in your backyard at home, even inside your house in your living room. You don't need to be hitting shots to do this. This is all about getting the feel of what a great golf downswing should feel like. So grab yourself a club. Now what I want you to do is grab it with a split grip. So you'll have your left hand on top of the grip like so, and put your right for a right hander and have them spread apart like that. Now what I'd like to see you do, as you make your back swing. This is a two-part drill. You're going to start up in your, your normal posture. We've got our split grip here. What you're going to do is take a step, 
join those two feet together and then for the downswing flow through. What this does it's helping you with that pressure shift with the first movement. This move here is the key one. This one here, this is your pressure shift. Having these hands wide apart helps you with your rotation. It also helps you to shallow out the golf, the golf club most importantly and get into that position there. And you can go through to follow through if you like. So simply normal stance, take a step. That's what a downswing should feel like. I'll show you this from down the line. You'll see here on the way down how it gets me to shallow and then through. Where a lot of those golfers get in problems with this downswing, when they get here, shaft comes down like that. But by having your hands split apart, helps you feel the club getting a lot more shallow and through. That's a fantastic drill. Make sure you practice that. That will help you do a lot of great things in your downswing. Now, really important coming up, I've got a video that covers the trail shoulder in the downswing and why you need to externally rotate it. I briefly covered this before, but this video goes into more detail. So you've got to watch it. It will really help out your downswing no end. It's coming up. Do you want to know how to make an even better downswing? Click and watch the video on your screen now. It's going to show you how to tuck your pelvis in the golf swing, which helps you get into an even better downswing position, which goes really well with this video. Do you want to know how to play even better golf? consider subscribing to the channel. And remember, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. I will get back to you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.